Welcome to day three of our seven days of workshops to bring you into epic, epic manifestation of what you want. So I would love to first of all apologize for being a few minutes late. I had a very excitable ragdoll cat who was dribbling around the laptop and <laughs> <laughs> I've managed to unpeel Bowie after we have crawled round as cats this morning and then planted a tree so she's fast asleep. Um, but where I wanted to start is um, reviewing what we have done so far. So if you are here, let me know you are here. Give me a hi, give me a wave and let's really dig into what you've achieved because what you have achieved in just what, what we're on three days day three is epic right and i can hear the breakthroughs coming through you're sharing with me that you're starting to see some of the ways that you have been holding back or things that have been holding you back and we're gonna learn today how massive this is in actually creating the success that you want so Yesterday, you also got the possibility of, of seeing how you want to go forward, like really getting clear on what not only the vision is that you're creating, but how you can use this week. Because obviously we have the big masterclass on day seven where we're going to get together on Zoom. It's going to be interactive. You're going to be learning the entire scaling system that I use. And usually this is only what my high ticket group and one-to-one -one clients get to see. So you're really getting some epic insight here, but there, there has to be the foundation that we've done. Um, so I taught you as well that little known secret that actually what you want doesn't come from what you know. So, you know, we get into these patterns, don't we? We get into these, um, I guess, limiting stories that I need another qualification. I need to know this strategy over here. I need to know this thing. I need to know how, God damn it. I need to know how to make this money. How do I crack this business? How do I bring it into epic profit and success? But actually the answer is that it doesn't come from what you know. It comes from the unknown. And so we have been talking about how you rediscover that imagination and you tap back into that innative creative, sorry, innate creative power that you have. And, you know, you, tr you trust in miracles, you trust in the law of, of attraction and manifestation, and you trust in you as well. Because as we talked about yesterday, your ego doesn't want you to trust that because of the experiences that you've had, because of the things that have happened in your life, because of the things that you have learned. And as I said yesterday, they are not your truth, they are not the truth. Um, and they can really hold you back. So we've got Nikki coming on, we've got Stacy. you guys are amazing. Like, I just love that you're showing up every single day. It's, it's awesome. And I know that the two of you have been exactly the two people who have talked about those breakthroughs around what has been holding you back. So, you know, these trainings are doing what they're meant to do, bringing awareness. And now we can start to quiet your ego. We can start to make that voice that has you going back to those patterns that don't take you anywhere and those reactions and those behaviors that are created by those limiting beliefs and really take you into what is going to create what is possible for you. And I asked you to see that yesterday. I asked you to play big. I asked you to see big. Those of you with access to the Awakened Wealth blueprint, um, got access to a, an amazing meditation, which comes from the book Prometheus Rising. So the guy who wrote this book, he's just so epic in what he knows about how the brain works and the powers of the subconscious mind. Um, you know, with, we, I think when we go on this journey, we, we have, we have a limiting belief that the subconscious mind limits us. It's broken. We need to fix it. We need to reprogram it with all these affirmations, but actually your subconscious mind is the seat of your creativity. And so it's actually your superpower when you know how to use it right. And so yesterday we really worked in the Awakened Wealth Blueprint with the subconscious mind and got it to show us what is possible for you from that deepest place of unlimited desire. So I'd love, Nikki, if you managed to do that meditation, like pop in the comments what you experienced, what you came up, I don't, what came up for you. I don't think I've seen you um, share yesterday's task yet with the vision, but I might have missed it. 
So when we drop out of these limiting stories and beliefs, and when we drop out of the ego's hold on us, we actually start showing up in whole new ways. And what happens when we start showing up in whole new ways is we start creating completely different results. So on that, who is feeling now that great big cover photo that we've got on this group saying mission possible? You know, it's you're starting to see why it is mission possible. That thing that you want, that thing that you deeply desire, the thing that perhaps has been evading you, it's absolutely possible for you and we're gonna make it happen. So I want you to also celebrate your commitment to the seven by seven method. I know it's not easy. I've been there myself as well, but you've shown up. You've shown up, you've committed, and maybe you haven't done seven times a day. Maybe you've done three or four. Maybe you've only done one, but it's more than you were doing three days ago, right? And every single minute that you apply to those rituals, you're changing your frequency and it is your frequency that is attracting what you want into your life. We're gonna dig deep in that today. So it's not easy. Stacy said um, something around like, oh, you know, but it's, it's a rhythm I just have to adapt to. Um, and yes, absolutely, that is right. Like it, it is a rhythm. It's really important to reframe the idea that it's another thing on your to-do list. It absolutely isn't. It's about integration and it's about getting rid of those things that are in your day that are not creating the energy of what you want, that are not in alignment and actually doing these things that are, again, we're going to dip, dig into that today. And, you know, with my accelerator, that is what we do. That's why it's such a unique space, such a unique business coaching container, because yes, we have business coaching twice a week. But I also provide these containers to breathe together, to do the neurosomatic work together, to work into our limiting beliefs, our stories, our traumas. And this is part and parcel of, of generating your business success. I would say it's more important than the business strategy. And it's why when we get into those business coaching sessions, those wins come so easily and so fast. Like my clients have epic confidence, they have epic trust in themselves, they have epic vision, and they have epic clarity. And it comes from the stuff that we do around the business coaching. And then they get to, you know, create those results that they want in ease, in fulfillment, in joy, in creativity, and in alignment. So it's super powerful. And we take that seven by seven to the next level in terms of it becomes more of a mastery because mastery has four levels, right? When you are in level one of mastery, you're exploring what is possible, what is open, which is like the seven, seven method. What do I feel? What do I resonate with? What's working for me? You try it, experiment with it. Then you find the habit. That's level three. You start making the things that resonate with you a habit. And then you're into mastery. And when you're into, into mastery, you're into energetic mastery, which is what we're going to talk about today, right? So really, 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 really powerful. If you're feeling resistance to the seven by seven, just do that reframe. It isn't something extra on my to-do list. Um, it is actually replacing the things that are not aligned to the energy of the success that you want. And instead, you're integrating the things that are creating the space that create, creates the energy and the inspiration that is. So if you need to write that down and have it as an, app, an affirmation, do because it, or put it as, a, as part of the alarm on your phone, the notification, reframe it and it will be super powerful. And I guess the other thing that you can do if you're finding resistance, and this helped me as well, is to look at how you do spend your time, right? Because the, the time is a complete illusion. We never have a scarcity of time and we never have a scarcity of um, money because that, that's an illusion. There, there's an abundance of everything. When you are in your creative power, when you believe in the law of manifestation and quantum physics, like anything you want, you can create it through your focus, right? So it's prioritizing your time. So get, get fucking real with yourself and be like, how many minutes did I spend scrolling my phone on Facebook? How many minutes did I spend watching stories? How many minutes did I spend watching the TV or the news or, you know, whatever these things are that they're not manifesting what you want and they're filling your head with the wrong things and they're taking away, taking you away from your own innate creativity and that, that universal channel, right? That channel to those divine downloads that, that tell you the way to go. Um, and seven times seven actually comes to 49, which is not even an hour, right? So let's get real, 49 minutes. 
in total, split down into seven, I'm sure that you can fit it in. It's just about reframing it. And actually all that's happening is your resistance is coming up from your ego because your ego fears your success. And we're gonna talk about that today, right? So um, that quantum physics is really important. It is scientifically proven. If you go away and you look at the double slit experiment, just Google it or go onto YouTube. And what they discovered that was when you put um, a shine a light through two slits, then where the light came out on the other side was only where it was observed. <laughs> so by observing the light, you created where the light manifested. And that is manifestation. Where you focus on, where your energy flows, it actually, turns into matter, it turns into form, it, it creates, right? And so that actually means, if we're up here in theory, that you could do anything and it would make money. You could do whatever you like and it would make money. So the question is, why doesn't it? <laughs> and the answer to that is how you feel when you're doing it, right? Because what you feel attracts back to you in the same level of vibration. So if you're feeling scarcity, if you're feeling fear, if you're feeling guilt, if you're feeling anxiety, if you're feeling frustration, if you're feeling angry, that is low frequency emotions and that is what the universe picks up and returns back. So what is happening is that you're doing stuff that actually makes you feel like shit you know, the stuff that isn't in alignment with who you are, that isn't in alignment with what you want, but you're doing it out of some sort of obligation, fear, responsibility, or just the belief that that is how, that, that, how it, that, that is how it is. It's making you feel these things and what is coming back is exactly the same. Instead of how you would feel if you were lit, like in radical self-expression, living in pure joy and ecstasy, pumping out all of these feelings and without the limiting beliefs that, that stops you doing that, right? That, that is the truth. That is the journey that I have taken and what I'm sharing through the Awakened Wealth Blueprint. You get to reflect back the energy of what you feel. So if you're not, you're out of quantum alignment, right? So where we want to be is in quantum alignment. And today's um, task in the Awakened Wealth Blueprint, and we're going to do a similar thing here in the live launch, is around creating that quantum alignment. And quantum alignment is that radical expression of yourself, finding your truth. I'll never forget the moment where I was in a breath work and I'd sort of been feeling this energy somewhere deep in, in, in within, like... I guess a knowing that how I was showing up in my life, who I was, it wasn't truly who I am. And I couldn't wrap I couldn't wrap words around it. I couldn't wrap vision around it. I could just feel it, right? And so every time on my breath work, I would, I would try harder to connect with it. And it started to come through me more. And when I let go of the need to try and wrap, wrap words around it, try and analyze it, and I just sort of went with the energy in my actions and stopped questioning them, like, you know, especially things like my neurosomatic therapy, like where's it gonna fit in my business strategy? How am I gonna fit bre bre breath work into, um, you know, helping people with their business? When I just let all that shit go, things started to change on an on a epic level. And I, I realized I didn't need to know how. I just needed to trust this feeling and this, this feeling of my truth, this frequency of my truth and allow it to show me where I should be, how I sh should show up, things I should say yes to, things I should say no to. And, you know, really where I felt those triggers and that those anxious feelings and um, whatever energy that was, that was um, low frequency, really listen to it and say, what is it telling me about what I believe about myself and about the world? Because when we can figure out what we believe, we can question it. We suddenly go in the brain physically from this survival part, which is your limbic brain, your reptilian brain, into your neocortex. And you get to ask, you get to ask the question, is this true? Or is this something that I've been told? Is this an experience that taught me this? Is it true? And ultimately you get to decide what is true based on your values, your principles, and how you wanna show up in the world. And that's what I'm saying, you can do anything through those values, through those principles, through, through those beliefs, and they will manifest in what you want, but you gotta trust, right? So quantum alignment, it's, it's that radical expression of that innate creativity. You are innately creative. You have it, unlimited creative power it's just that over the years, you've been told not to use it. You've been, you've been taught how to not use it and it's been dampened down. 
Um, it's like, you know, I think I mentioned it on day one, the adult coloring books. <laughs> Would you be trying to stir that creativity back up? But that's getting us to color inside the lines. Like we should, we should be able to just put out whatever we feel and for it to manifest into whatever we want. You have that innate creativity. And when you live in that elevated energy, you also then open up the possibilities of the quantum field. And the quantum field, the opportunities are unlimited absolutely infinite and un unlimited. So I had somebody vehem vehemently, vehemently, is that the word? disagree with this today actually and I really challenged her belief that to make money it has to be hard work she really didn't vibe with my idea that it, you can have it all and it can be easy and that's what and and she backed away so that's what happens when you, your beliefs are challenged you go back to the old pattern of behavior. So the belief is, well, actually, no, I don't believe that it's easy to make money. I don't believe that, you know, I can have this business and it doesn't have to be hard. And maybe she was feeling some guilt around that because she's been brought up or her parents have worked hard or, you know, um, I have an, uh, an Irish Catholic background and the programming there around how you make money and what it means to have money. And it's, it's uh, my dad. <laughs> The blueprint he has is just nuts, but he's grown up with this, with this, this is, has been his reality, right? And it's how he's wired around money and it has shown up in how he has worked to make money, like really, really hard. Rich people are greedy, rich people are ugly. If you're rich, you're filthy, you know, like <laughs> you can't become something you despise. And so he never has had money, right? And when he's had money, he's lost it. So you backtrack when you're challenged, you backtrack and you might, this really is what goes on with the seven by seven method is it challenges what you believe. You know, this isn't gonna help. I've got other stuff, stuff to do da, 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 da. and suddenly you're backtracking to the old patterns. You're back on the phone, scrolling the phone, but that doesn't create what you want. It does not create what you want. So I'm really celebrating you for being here today and really sticking to this. We have got Sheila. Oh, Sheila can't join today, but she's let us know. So that's beautiful. <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to have to go through these comments. Amazing. Yeah. Nikki says, I get caught up in the but how instead of asking for the next step and trust. That is it. That is absolutely it. And that's what I'm going to show you to do today. It really is so powerful. I know that you're here. It's day three. It's because you believe that you believe somewhere in you believes that you can do it differently. And that's epic because with that new belief, we start creating new opportunities. And when we have new opportunities, we have new opportunities to have something different, to live in an entirely new reality to, I never forget the day that I invested in that first mastermind. You know, I was so stuck in my business. I had not even made a profit. I was, um, you know, oh my God, I just can't even take myself back there physically. It's like trauma, it was awful. I was just struggling. I was struggling so hard. And I saw this advert come up on Facebook and it was talking about the coaching princess, right? So the coaching princess gets all the free things doesn't do anything with them and go kind of goes back to where she was and it was the idea that there is a way forward it is challenging but you gotta you gotta step in and I set up a, a phone call with the coach and she told me how much the program was and it was 33,000 New Zealand dollars now my husband had just been made redundant and we'd had this conversation and it was why I was on the phone with the coach that okay so he's been made redundant it's October it's gonna be really hard to get another job why don't we swap roles. He can stay home with the children. I'll go all in my coaching business. I'll invest in this coach. I'll make it happen. I never in a million years expected the program to be 33 grand, right? No way. But I listened to her and I understood that because I asked her, I asked her a very specific question. I said, what is the difference between people who succeed and people who fail in your program? And she said, it's no, it's very simple. She said, if you're already believing that there's a chance that you've, you'll fail, you're going to fail. It's the people who believe with their heart and they take that leap of faith. They're already creating their success. And, and that takes me back to what I was telling you yesterday about courage being the line. I said yes to the deposit to that program, which was 50% of my husband's redundancy package, which meant that we had a couple of grand to like see us through till Christmas. There was a delay because it was Christmas. There was a delay on the next installment. It wasn't until um, the new year, which meant I had like three months to get my shit together and make that money. And 
in three months, I made $10,000, which I hadn't even broken even before, you know, and it was because I took that leap of faith. It was because I listened and it's because I, I suddenly believed that another way was possible and another way was possible. So it's all in our belief. And the thing that I've learned since then has been really revealing because actually I continued to create sex, success like that really easy. And every time I did, every time I took an, another next level, I actually started to notice how my limiting beliefs would come up. And at the start, I didn't have the tools and the processes to actually overcome them. And so I'd allow them to take me back to old patterns. And then suddenly I'd hit a plateau. So I was doing this. I was going up, down, across, up, down, across. And far out, it was it was getting really, really tiring. You know, it was getting really, really tiring. I was, I was like, how do I, how do I, how do I get over this? And... What I realized, I had this light bulb, I was like, holy shit, I've spent my whole life thinking that I fear failure. You know, I watched my dad fail. And I don't say that in any sort of accusive, acu like, I'm not, I love my dad. I love my dad to the moon and back. I love my mum to the moon and back. And I know that they, like, neither of them have had it easy. They haven't had it easy. And a lot of that has been how they haven't been equipped to deal with the challenges that life threw at them. And which is why I think I'm so passionate about equipping people to be able to see obstacles as opportunities and actually allow them to happen through you with these empowering belief systems because you heal your trauma, because you heal your experiences and every single experience that you go to, it becomes easier and you attract less of that shit towards you as well. And what happened with my dad is, like I said, he had such limiting beliefs around money, such, you know, debilitating belief systems. My dad right now has prostate cancer. The NHS in the UK is just falling apart. There's a massive waiting list on the um, operation that he needs. I said to him, dad, I'll pay it. Like, just find out how much it costs. Go private. I'll pay it. We'll just do whatever it takes. We'll, we'll make the money or I'll give you the money or whatever, just depending on how much it is. And he said, he's just literally like his whole body language changed and he fell kind of back into his chair and he was like, no, 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 I'm not going to, I'm not going to pay for a an operation that I could get on the system. And I, I said to you, I said, you're willing to die in the chair. You're willing to die in that chair you're sat in from this cancer because you won't pay for something you set yourself that you can get for free. I was like, I don't understand that. It's not my job to understand it, but you know, it's our beliefs that create our experiences. And my dad made a lot of money, he lost a, a lot of money. And I believe that it all came from what he believes about money. And I know from his experience, my experience, watching my clients, that the biggest thing that we fear is our own alignment, our own power, and we fear success. I didn't feel fear failure because I know failure. I know failure intimately. I've never known success until very recently, intimately. And our brain will always, 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 always fear what it doesn't know. And that's why that process you did yesterday with the vision is so critically important because you actually tell the brain, this is what's happening. And every day you start to see it, you start to see it as if it's happening already. And your, your brain, your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between real or fake. And so suddenly you're not in the unknown, you're in the known. And so suddenly the ego is quietening down because it knows what's coming. It doesn't have to fear, right? You've got to learn how the brain works and work with your brain, biohack those emotions, because that is honestly a key to success. Even if we step over that line of courage, if we don't do that, if we don't work with those emotions, if we don't have vision, if we don't create the feelings as if we've got it already, we'll step into our power, we'll shit ourselves. <laughs> And we'll sabotage our success, right? It happens over and over and over again. And you might even be resonating with me right now. You might be able to see, ah, you know, actually, I can see how I've done that myself. How I see this with my clients, right? So give you some examples. Number one, burnout and exhaustion. All of a sudden, they're doing really well. They make 15K, 20K, whatever. And it's like, they, they, they shit themselves. <laughs> they contract. And literally in seven days between between sessions, they've gone back to doing all the things. They don't trust that this money can come easily. They don't trust the situation that they're in. Suddenly it's like back to those limiting belief programs. I've got to do all the things. And then they get tired. And the, if there has been a pattern of exhaustion or there's been a, an experience of burnout in the past, the body goes, I'm going to use this because it's going to stop her going in that direction of the unknown that I don't like. 
and suddenly they're in burnout, they're in exhaustion and they can't keep going, right? We have to suddenly be stepping into self-care, into all of this and it slows down. So I've become very aware of this now. Um, the second thing I see is pivots. So again, they'll have a, like a massively successful launch, they'll make money for the first time ever, they'll start a business, and then it's like, oh my God, I need to go do something different. <laughs> I can't rinse and repeat. Their, their, their brain will not let them rinse and repeat what they've done because they fear that success. It's, it's, it's not, do you see what I mean? It's, it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Physical illness. Now, this is one of my patterns. Every single time, so this week, even this week, I have, at the first couple of days, felt kind of a head cold. And now I know it's not a head cold. Before I'd be like, oh God, I'm getting a head cold. Or, oh my God, I'm getting the flu. Oh my God, it's COVID. I don't actually say that, but now I know, oh, there we go. We're gonna go through another level here. <laughs> we're like, we're getting right out here and your body's trying to stop you. Because I'm still fearing that, you know, this year for me has been huge. I've stepped out on like this epic level and, investments, uh, you know, my own pivot, which was a, a calculated pivot, an alignment pivot, were huge. And I guess in some ways, my little brain's still going, we're just gonna tread a little bit carefully. So illness manifests as a ceiling and it can be old injuries flaring up. It can be things like arthritis, autoimmune really starts to flare. Anything really that is gonna stop you going in the, the direction of your success. I'd love to know if any of this is resonating. Let me know in the comments. Another thing I see is suddenly the whole world is falling down around you. There is drama everywhere. Now there's two reasons for this. When you rise because of the law of polarity, something's got to fall apart down here. But the thing that usually falls apart down here, the other extreme of polarity is to pull you more into alignment. It's again to wake you up to somewhere where you're not aligned. But if you don't have that mastery, then you actually just go straight out into the drama and suddenly you can't do anything because all of these things are happening out here. And the final one I see is overwhelm. And we will have, or have already seen this in the group this week. You know, suddenly it's like, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed with all these things. And you can't see for the wood for the trees. And it's just, it's just, it's just your brain. So it's like taking a breath and saying, number one, there's three ways to solve this. Number one is awareness. Number two is, t is tools. And I have got all the tools and you've got access to the tools in the Awakened Blueprint. Um, and self-compassion, like just love on yourself and know that you are human. You're superhuman, but you, you're human and you have human experiences and you're on this journey of learning and growth and expansion and you're doing what other people won't. And so that makes you magical because our world, like it, ne it, it needs that shift. It needs that shift from victim consciousness into that higher consciousness where we are doing things more through that lens of love and compassion. And I believe that will solve all of the world's problems. I'm writing a book with beautiful Stacy here in the comments. That is, a, that is what my chapter is about. I feel that our vibration, if we can raise it, it will change the world. There has been studies done, transcendental meditation done weekly in New Delhi and the crime rates dropped. You know, we don't have to go out and fix all these problems. They will disappear if we start to fix ourselves. And it's the hardest thing, it's the hardest it's the hardest thing to do and it's why we look for those strategies in our business to solve the problems that we have but those problems are coming from us and so to just have that self-love and you know awareness and and compassion that this is a journey and you're going step by step and the most important thing is, you, is you're going forward every single day um i had a big realization last year around I mentioned how you know with my mum when I was a child I sort of grew this belief that I just do everything wrong you know like every I could do good bad and it would just have these volatile reactions because of a mental illness and I, I I felt I felt broken I felt like I couldn't get things right and it made creativity very dangerous because if I was to create I had to experiment I had to kind of like you know um I had to trust myself and I didn't trust myself. And I just got this, this idea that growing my business creatively, doing those things that felt aligned, it just was dangerous. And I kept contracting in, I kept, I launched, um, well, I had the idea of a certification to qualify, certify quantum leap coaches. The journey of trying to get that to market was just nuts because I was battling this. Um, that was two years ago now. Again, two years ago, the idea of the accelerator and such a creative container, such a unique mastermind really, and 
a unique, a unique results that it gets is because of that. But back then it was like, oh, you know, like I really struggled to get these, these creative projects off the ground. And I would take myself back to the busy, busy because it distracted me from that creativity. But, um, you know, awareness is everything. Noticing those patterns. Now I know that the majority of my money comes from like not launches, it comes from me being in that creative space, sharing from that creative space, speaking from that creative space. And so my job this year really has been to trust this. This is the only, this is the second launch I've done this year. And it's the first one that's felt really, really aligned. And just in that meantime, learning to trust that I can make money in the way that I know works. And if launches are aligned, launches are aligned. For me, they're not necessarily, I don't want them to be my principal way of doing business. I help you to find the way that feels good. Cause like I said, whatever feels good will create the money as long as you've got the belief that you can create anything. So today we're gonna look at those beliefs, right? This is what we are doing today is the belief. Those of you on the Awakened Wealth Blueprint, you're gonna go into your content in about an hour's time and, or you can go in there now and there's an introduction, it's sort of on a schedule. Ping, ping, ping. But you're gonna get a worksheet that's gonna help you to do this process way more deeply um, to really get to the crunch of the empowering belief systems that are gonna make what you want mission possible. Those of you who are just here for the launch, you're literally just gonna feel into potentially the, the the limiting beliefs that you have, like money is hard to make, I'm a failure, creativity is dangerous, whatever it is, and you're just going to find the opposite. You're going to find the empowering belief system and you're going to come up with five affirmations and you're going to share them here in the group. You're going to share them as a post. These are the empowering belief systems, the affirmations of my truth that I'm going to be using and I want you to bring them into the seven by seven method. So as you're doing the two by four breath work, you breathe up that affirmation of truth. As you are um, doing the, the movement that you can affirm as you're doing it, you know, like yoga with affirmations is so powerful. So you bring those affirmations into the seven by seven method. It's going to take that seven by seven method up to the next level. Um, then you're going to do as we always do, we're going to pop down when you see the badge post, you say, yep, I've done my associated task. I am sharing my biggest breakthrough. What's been your biggest breakthrough from today's call? And tag two people. First person is the person that you see freaking killing it. Celebrate them. Let them know they're doing really well. Like celebrate their commitment, celebrate their wins, celebrate them showing up. And then your second tag, you're going to tag somebody who's maybe in the background a little bit, just mm, not really like this. Look, I'm here, I'm kind of here, but I'm not really here. So you're going to give them a nudge and you say, hey, get on this because it's creating results for people and we don't want you to miss out and we love you and we're here to keep you accountable. We can help you. Um, just tag them so they know. And then I also want to make sure that you've signed up for uh, Tuesday, is it? Tuesday's masterclass, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, wherever you are in the world, it's one of those days. Um, if you've signed up, just add it to your calendar and it'll show you exactly when it is. And I'm gonna be showing you the scaling income system. So once you've got this baseline this week, because what I'm trying to show you today is, yes, I can give you the strategy, but if you don't have this stuff underneath, if you don't have the foundation, it's not gonna work, right? It's a waste of time. <laughs> You're gonna flip back to behavioral patterns that are not positive. Um, it's just, it's just a, it's just a waste of time. So you want to get this foundation this week. This is your coherence. This is your energy. This is making it easy. This is attracting the opportunities to you. And then we bring the strategy to meet that on the masterclass. I show you how to make the money that you want in less time with less hustle and supercharged influence and reach and with radical self-expression. So you're going to learn that and you can also be inviting people to that masterclass as well. So um, we are um, on the masterclass, I'm going to be sharing the prize winners. So we've already got a prize winner of the um, $100 for sharing into the group. And we've also got a prize winner of the neurosomatic session that was dropped um, when my funny, bun funny bunny rabbit jumped up on the, on the app, which I've got rid of now, thank you. Um, so we've got a $100 cash prize, we've got a neurosomatic prize, we're going to announce those winners. Um, and those people who, that person who is, um, there'll be a draw because I think you'll like, 
you know, you're all doing amazing. So probably be pick out the hat. But if you keep filling in those badge posts, then you go into win my quantum wealth accelerator course, which is an online breathwork course that is going to supercharge that creative energy. It is such a beautiful compliment to any program that you do with me. Um, and I'm going to announce that winner on the Monday, on the Tuesday as well. So I think I'm going to come up with a prize for inviting to the masterclass too, because let's get as many people there. Let's start doing business in a completely different way, the awakened way that means that you are in your highest vibration and frequency and you're changing the world simply by being the change. So um, uh, in the group guides, you've got the Zoom link for you to register in that live schedule. I think it's the guide number five. Um, but just share the live launch link with people say look just sign up here and you get to sign up on the masterclass on page two the thank you page and you get to jump in the group too and see the recordings of the calls that we've already had and the trainings over the next few days as well because we have still got shit loads to do it's gonna be amazing i'm gonna pop into the comments just check what we got Woohoo! nikki's like wow Wow. Oh my gosh. Look, pennies dropping left, right and center. I love it. I'm going to jump into, uh, blah, 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 jump into these comments properly. I appreciate you. You're amazing. And I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow as well. We also have our first live call, which is um, a QA and a call. I should say a first live Q&A call where you get to submit questions if you're part of the Awakened Wealth Blueprint. So look out for that. I'm sure the questions that my founders have got are going to answer your questions as well. Um, but you get an extra, an extra, an extra me for a little bit longer tomorrow. So enjoy Friday. Love you. Bye.